Alrighty folks, Captain Dave here in this echoey room and what I'm trying to do is I'm going to do a hat cam video for Eddie. He's one of our, my subscribers on my YouTube channel and he said, hey Dave, why don't you show us your complete arsenal of tackle someday? Well, I'm in the tackle dungeon right now. Because that's what it sounds like. It's all echoey in here. There's no furniture. There's no nothing. It's solid tackle. So I'm going to put this hat cam on because it's the only way that I'm going to be able to actually show you what I got going on here in the tackle room. And hopefully with all this echo, you're actually going to be able to hear what I'm talking about. All right. So here we go. All right, Eddie. First thing first is here's all the float rigs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine float rigs completely set up. I've got everything from a cheap $16 rod to seven foot six uh, ugly sticks, uh, Daiwa Lagunas, or I mean, not Daiwa Lagunas, Lexus. All the way to a nice little Daiwas that I really like, which I've got a bunch of here. Maybe I can show you. I really always like these little Daiwa Strike Force reels. Look at that. Look at that little sweetheart. 7 to 1 gear ratio. Really small, really compact. So I've got a bunch of these. Everything has a reel cover on it if it's on. If it goes on my boat, so I'm having you to kind of, I'm kind of having to pull these off for you. Okay, then over here, well, we go to the bait stick. Every, every good fisherman should have a bait stick. This is for the sabiki rod. Uh, the bait stick is for the sabiki rig or bait catcher rigs. To be encased inside the rod and you put a reel here and it reels it reels the sabiki rig right up inside okay so there's that that's that then we come over here to the tiger rod uh, rack this is where I got all my tiger rods and all the reels that you say that you bought the last of Eddie Here's the uh, Shimano Tritons on just plain old the Ugly Stick Tiger Rods. I actually got caught in the rain so bad the other day, I had to take these covers off and let them dry out. So I've got a whole bunch of the Tiger Regulars, and then I've got a whole bunch of the Tiger Jigging Rods with uh, 300 Shimano DSVs on them. Okay, so there's, let's see, this is a Triton, 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 Shimano Triton, Shimano 300 DSV, 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 DSV. So I got all the 300s. This is what we use for like casting. This is what we use for simple bottom fishing or pulling in 200 pound bull sharks. Alright, then we go over here, this rack, you know, if you notice, this rack here, really simply made, just out of PVC. Alright, this rack houses the medium offshore or heavy duty uh, rods and reels. Okay, again, have this off because of the fact that it was so raining yesterday. This is, I'm running the Finor Sport Fisherman. Excellent, excellent, excellent reels for the price. I mean, I got these for $69 on eBay. Loads and loads of braid on it, 65 pound braid. Uh, simple reel, uh, tons and tons of drag pressure, just as smooth as a baby's butt. Very, very happy with these reels. You know, the mark of any decent reel, I always feel when they start to get big, 
No, no, no regular screws. Allen head wrench right all around here. All around here, Allen heads. These are all on um, Shakespeare Ugly Stick Customs with the slick butt. Seven foot. These are light, light sharking and light offshore rods. I've got, uh, let's see here, I've got one, two, three, four of those. Then I've got four over here of the Ugly Stick Customs. Slick butt, anti-foul guides. This is what we shark fish with most of the time. Um, and then of course that same exact reel, but uh, size, that's a size 30, this is a size 50. Okay, I got four of these. Then of course I got an entire bucket there of spare reel covers. This over here, I've got two of. I got, I got the cover on it right now. This is the big time, big time, big time shark and tackle. All right, so this is uh, a vintage, these are vintage uh, ugly stick stand-up rods and as you can see these are Avet Pro 50 two speeds. Okay, push the button, changes gear, push the button, changes gear. This is the kind of fishing that I wish I was doing most of the time during the summer, but 99.999% of everybody cannot handle it, and they don't really want to do it. Uh, this is for, you know, your three, 500 pound type sharks. That's a 300 or 400 pound wind on leader. Okay, uh, I got two of these. Because that's all you need, really. They're all set up, wind on leaders, 100 pound test underneath, then uh, with a top shot of 100 pound mono on it, with then uh, 100 pound braid underneath that. So uh, these are the man movers. These are unlimited rods, 80 to 130 plus, all rollers, believe it or not. They're vintage ugly sticks. So, this is the kind of fishing I wish I was doing in the charter fishing business, but I'm not. And Eddie, if you ever want to come down, I don't even know where the hell you live. But if you ever wanted to come down here and spend a day in the summer going after real sharks, you just let me know. And we'll go do real shark fishing. All right. So I got another one sitting right over there. Same exact as this. I think that one is a wide spool, though. This is a, a, a narrow spool. Avet. Okay. So this is the Im Impressum tackle. Because when we're going out after real sharks... This is what you need. And um, like I said, 90% of everybody can't handle it. They don't even want to do it. Your average tourist, they can't do, they can't do, you know, four hours on a shark or three hours on a shark. They can't even get the black tips to the boat. So these stay undercover for when Dave goes out with his friends and we go after real sharks. Last year I got to try those out on maybe about a 200 pound hammerhead and that was about it. Okay, then we come over here. Over here we've got heavy, heavy, ugly stick, tiger jigging rods with a cork. 
and four of the saltest 20 HCs, HCs being the ones that automatically engage. All right, these are my, I only really break these reels out, these rods and reels for people who are actual fishermen. Uh, the beginners, the I go fishing once a year crowd, I usually don't even bother bringing this tackle here. So I got four of them lined up here. And then I got this little bastard of a rod, which is the Shimano Travala jigging rod. It's okay. I love it because you can tuck this part right here up under your arm. And, I mean, this thing will just double completely over since it's an extra, extra light. All right. Problem is, is that's all this rod's really good for. I mean, you go to cast and then the butt's too long. But I have it in case I ever, you know, want to do some serious jig fishing. Then over here, is the, there's the personal tackle. There's uh, my... Iowa Ryoga here drying out. That's on a light, on a lighter, ugly stick jigging rod. Then I got my own personal uh, one that I use. This is the heavier, ugly stick jigging rod with another black Iowa Saltist here. Only difference is on this one, uh, what makes this my personal reel is I've actually changed out the bearings in this to uh, super waterproof, like ABEX 7 super duper, I don't know, ceramic bearings or something in this one. So this one here is a casting machine. You can see, I'll use, I'll use this rod for casting really big swim baits and stuff for trout. Then we come over and here's another lighter jigging rod. And it's got the Shimano Tatulas. I've got two of them. One here, one here. There's my 200 Tatulas. These things here, what a casting reel. What a casting reel. If you ever want to get a casting reel that isn't going to break the bank, this Tatula, I believe, is like winning awards. Okay, for castability and stuff. So then I got them, I got two Tatulas, and then you've seen down here, Captain Dave Super Blinger, in its special case, there's my red, white, and blue one, my Daiwa Zillion, with the Phoenix Candy Apple Red Rod, just holding this rod right here. Gives me shivers up and down my spine. Just this rod and this reel. I mean, this, there's almost nothing could be finer than this right here. In my book. This is my red, white, and blue one. And then, I keep hitting the light, of course. Then, here... I've got my, this is my uh, silver, blue, and gold one. There you go. I mean, this thing is just so freaking awesome, it's unbelievable. Again, on a Phoenix solid, just plain old fiberglass, candy apple red rod. All right, and the body glove here. This is the best case or the best water or uh, protected case you could ever have. Then we get over here to all the stuff I wish you'd buy, Eddie. Here's a whole pack of ugly stick catfish rods, some ugly stick um, inshore selects. They're all getting ready to move. Then here I've got my spinners. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> This is what I think of spin tackle. It sits here in a corner and I hardly ever use it because I hate, I despise everything about it. 
Um, then I got a spare uh, heavy duty jigging rod and a couple spare uh, ugly stick tigers. Then over here I got spare, these are all spare float rigging rods. These are some of these cheap Academy $18, $16 rods. And then we move over here. This is the last of the last rod. This one here is referred to as the candy cane by the way it looks. This here is a custom built rod, totally unlimited class rod. Okay, that I got off of a friend who his dad died and he had this and it's got wood in it. It's an old style rod for sure. You can tell that's all custom. You got these saddle type uh, guides. Look at that. Big, giant, heavy guides that saddle across the sides of the of the rod and then they're then they're threaded on. This here is for the ultimate, of course, going old school on a big shark. Then we get to a 9 knot Daiwa loaded with, uh, I think, 60 or 80 pound test. This thing is holding probably 800 yards of line. And I'm telling you, this thing don't bend. I mean, this is a rod from hell and back. I mean, this here, you can hang a truck off of it. So, this is another very, very prized possession. Because the man who had this built would, uh, I think what he was doing, from what I heard, is they're pulling planers with these. Or something like that. Um... I got that a little too tight, I think. But that's a uh, old school sharking rod right there. You're sharking and you're holding on to, you know, 14 pounds of tackle or more compared to my lighter sharking rods over there that are more modern, even though they're vintage. I got the Allen Tanny custom handle power handle on this thing, it's all ball bearing. And you can really grip plain old star drag. I uh, changed everything on here. This, this, believe it or not, this reel, brand new, only produced about 20, 22 pounds of drag. Now I got it. I changed Alan Tanny from California, who's a real master. He, um, he and I were talking. He gave me some uh, carbon fiber, like, pen-type washers to put in here. And now this thing's producing 32 pounds of drag pressure. So, 32 pounds of drag pressure. What will that do for you? Well, most, most people that will lift their heels right off the deck of the boat when, on a, when doing stand-up fishing. This really isn't a stand-up rod. For me, it's pretty much keep it in a rod holder. <laughs> so, that's that. And that ends the tackle room tour, Eddie, or anybody else that's interested. Everything in here has a purpose. There's my Daiwa Ryoga. I just absolutely love this little thing. God, what a beautiful reel. Come on down, Eddie. Let's go fishing. I'll let you try out the candy cane and you can get a bunch of these rods off of me. All right. Whew. So, that's the end of the tackle tour. This has been the Jetty Wolf Tackle Vault. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>